Hi, welcome to the series Maths is Easy, Maths is Fun. In this video, we'll have some discussion regarding quadratic equations. Quadratic equations are equations in the form ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0. In this, x is the variable, also known as the root of the equation. The highest power in a quadratic equation will always be 2, which means the highest power will always be some x square. It will not be x cube or x raised to 5. The standard form is always ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0. x is the variable or the root. a, b and c are coefficients, could be 0, could be a positive number, could be a negative number, whatever. The standard format is ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0. So, if you have a quadratic equation or a polynomial of degree 2, how many values of x will you get? You will always end up with two values of x, also known as the root of the equation. So, how do we figure out what are the roots of a given quadratic equation? So, if a quadratic equation is of the form ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0, the standard formula for the root is x equal to minus b plus minus a large square root sign b square minus 4ac, the whole thing upon 2a. This is the standard formula. But now that we are discussing the standard formula, let us just understand a couple of concepts more. This thing inside that square root, b square minus 4ac, a, b and c as we discussed, these are coefficients of the quadratic equation. This b square minus 4ac is known as the discriminant. And just by looking at the discriminant, we can get a fair clue about how the roots of a quadratic equation are going to behave. Now this b square minus 4ac, there are three possibilities. Either the value is positive or the value is 0 or the value is negative. If b square minus 4ac, the discriminant is 0, then it means the two roots are equal or both the root values are same. For example, if I have the equation x square minus 4x plus 4 equal to 0, I have a is equal to 1, b is equal to minus 4, c equal to 4. So, if I solve for b square minus 4ac, b square minus 4 square, 16. 4ac, a is 1, c is 4, so ac is 4 into 4, 16. So, what happens? b square minus 4ac, it is 0. And do you recognize the pattern if, you, if the quadratic equation is x square minus 4x plus 4 equal to 0? If you try to use the factorization formula, it is x minus 2 the whole square which means when you solve it, you get two equal roots, x equal to 2, x equal to 2. So, coming back to the discriminant principles, b square minus 4ac is the discriminant. If the discriminant is 0 or b square minus 4ac equal to 0, the two roots will be equal. The other possibility is the discriminant is negative, it is less than 0. The roots are known as imaginative or if b square minus 4ac is some positive number, the quadratic equation will have two roots, one value of x, another value of x and these two will be two different values. Then one more important property that you need to remember, we said the coefficients of the quadratic equation are a, b and c and a quadratic equation has two roots. So one concept is sum of roots. So, the sum of the roots of a quadratic equation are given by the formula minus b upon a. So, whatever is the coefficient of x, whatever is the coefficient of x square, minus b upon a, 
that will give you the value for sum of roots. The other part is if the quadratic equation has two roots and it can and they can have a sum, they will also have a product. The product of the two roots is equal to c upon a. c is the last coefficient without any power of x. a is the coefficient of x square. So, product of roots is equal to c upon a. Factorization principle or formula is also known as completing the square method. For instance, I give you a quadratic equation 2x square plus 3x plus 1 equal to 0. There are two ways to solve it. One is that standard formula with so many values or if you just observe 2x square plus 3x plus 1 equal to 0. We look at the first coefficient a and the last coefficient c, product of roots. 2 into 1, 2. So, if I can find out factors of 2 such that they add up to the value b, 3, 2 1s are 2, 2 1s are 2. So, the factors of 2 are 2 and 1. What happens if I add 2 and 1? I get 3. So, I can rewrite this quadratic equation as 2x square plus 2x plus x plus 1 equal to 0 and then when I solve it, I will get the values as x equal to minus 1 or x is equal to minus half. You can check the slate for the detailed readings. So, factorization is usually a much better method to solve quadratic equations. Thank you.